14 states are expected to break temperature records. More than half of the country will feel the effects of a heat wave. All right, guys, so I just got up in early in the morning. It is about, I think, 95 degrees outside. It is blazing, all right? No blazing there. It is hot outside, okay? And yes, that is Selena. Not Selena Gomez, the real Selena in the background. But yeah, I'm headed to the office right now. Gonna go pick up some lunch for everybody. We gotta film a house of hype today. Been a little while since we've done one. Super excited. I'll see you guys at the office. So I just secured the bag for everybody right here. I got Arby's for everybody's lunch. Uh, if you guys don't know, I used to work out Arby's, man. They had me on the fry station. I was in charge of these little puppies right here. You know, the curly fries. Yeah, dig. All right, guys, so I just got to the office. This is a uh, kind of a nice walk to the office, but yeah, I just parked. Okay, okay. Tan decided to pull up in Z-Wagon today. I'm outside in the AMG. What up, brother? What up? What's she pulled up on? in the wagon. New company car. We got a lot of things to haul today. Ooh, rocking the crazy heat today. Okay. What up, Ralph? Ralph what is up, just uh, doing some work right now. Working on some RLC stuff. RLC, okay. Die Star Swin, Tan. Die Star Swin. Next week, for sure. Next week? For sure. Like, if you guys see me get anything bad on camera, on camera. You send him a tea. I'll send the tea. Boy, can you swallow your food before you start saying this? Did you guys just say, hey, Mr. Vintage himself, What's going on? Beyond Cured, crazy. That video. I got a lot of vintage followers, man. That's a lot of them hitting you up, like, yo, you want this? You want this? DMs like crazy, like questions on tags, on yeah. sizing, on all kinds of stuff. Yo, I was telling Brandon, though, he can't be a vintage reseller if he only gets his size. I'm working on it. I've been getting <laughs> That's like our sneaker reseller only getting his own size. I've been getting mediums. I've been getting smalls. Uh, of course, I'm going to have XLs the most. All right, man. I'm working on this it. This guy I'm only gets on uh, XLs. All right, guys. So we've been hinting at these for a little while now. I posted them on my IG. It is officially that time, all right? Saturday, RichieLee.com, 9 a.m. Pacific time. We are going to be dropping the utility cargo shorts. They are right here. They come out in three different colors. I wanted to show you guys the details of them. So these are really similar fabric to the Cargo 2.0s that we just dropped. Um, but these actually have a nice mesh lining on the inside. One thing I'm really big on, and I've said this in a ton of my videos, I do not like it when cargo shorts have the pockets directly on the side. It kind of gives me this like, I don't know, like Tommy Bahama, you know, vacation vibe. But I feel like these are a little bit more everyday, unique. It's a little bit more asymmetric symmetrical very very functional it does have the zipper pocket right here as far as the length of these go these are above the knee shorts you guys know we're big on that we do not like our shorts you know below the knee or whatnot so these are above the knee for myself i rock a size small tan rocks a medium in these so just keep that in mind i posted these on my ig and you guys were going crazy and I was like, we gotta make these happen, man. We gotta make these happen. So they are officially here. We did not make a lot of these, so keep that in mind. If you guys want them, I cannot stress this enough, get on the website right at 9 a.m. Please do not wait till like 9.05 or anything after 9 a.m. for your best chances. Get on there pronto, I do believe these will sell out. And as far as colors go, we got a gray. This is the same one I was rocking in that, the one where I had the Supreme Dunks on. We have these, the photo I was rocking the Sakai's in. And then we also got a very, very, very limited chili red, okay? This color is pretty hard to produce as far as getting that color in the fabric, so we did not make a ton of these. But yeah, the utility cargo shorts will be dropping. <sighs> And then also, we got what I've been calling the perfect wash tees, all right? I've been rocking these every single day in all the videos. Let me bring these in. They will be coming out in an olive. Gotta have the olive. A nice kind of like um, cannoli cream, off-white, whatever you want to call it. And then a nice faded navy. My favorite thing about these is the hand feel. We're big on, you know, that vintage like you know, aged hand feel, and these definitely do have it. And as far as the fit goes, it has a very casual boxy fit. It is not overdone or like super crop. Like I've seen a lot of boxy tees out there. It's very similar to, I would say like the university tees from John Elliott's. I would kind of put it in that same category. You will definitely be getting your money's worth with these tees right here. And what I really like about them is they pretty much get better with every single wash. You could throw these in the washer as many times as you like, and it's only gonna get better with 
time. So like I said, it'll come out in a cream, a nice wash navy, and then also a nice perfect wash olive. These were made directly in Los Angeles, not overseas, directly in LA, okay? So made in the USA, so it is really on point. These will not be packaged inside out like our last ones, but if you do wanna rock them inside out, like your you know other vintage tees and whatnot, you do have that option and just have the little Richie Lee tag on the back, you can go that route as well. Before I get out of here, I just wanna say thank you once again for the continued support on the Richie Lee collection. You guys have been showing a ton of love on the IG, even in the comments on YouTube and whatnot. So it has been insane. We know we've always kept it 100% transparent with you guys when it comes to the Richie Lee collection and all our improvements, what we're working on. And I just gotta say thank you. We have a big announcement coming up uh, for our fall drop, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, I'm glad we were able to drop something for you guys this summer, this Saturday, and these will sell out. I cannot uh, stress this enough. And I know a lot of people are like, can you make more than 10? Trust me, we make more than 10. But yeah, all right, guys, good luck. Saturday, I'll see you guys on there. And I wear a medium in the tees. So I wear a small in the shorts and a medium in the tees. All right, guys, good luck on Saturday, 9 a.m. Pacific time. I'll see you guys on there. All right, guys, so this just came in the mail right here. Shout out to Helix, all right? I took a quiz online about my sleep schedule, you know, my body frame, what I'm looking for in my sleep. They sent over this mattress right here, which is today's sponsor. An entire queen mattress is in this little box. How is that even possible? It might be even smaller than my nephew. Boom, confirmed. The box is smaller than my nephew. They really jam-packed this thing. You will also get two free pillows with any of your purchases, which is crazy. Those are mine, by the way. Stop playing. All right, let's get this thing upstairs. Do you guys hear that right now? After unwrapping it, you can hear it right now. It is coming to life. I'm excited, man. Let's get this baby open. This guy's already checking out the mattress. He can tell it's going to be a good... All right guys, so pretty simple. You just unroll this thing like a burrito and then there's just one layer of plastic right here and it basically comes to life. Let's get this thing on the frame. These right here, man, Helix, shout out to you guys. Made the whole process that much easier. These handles are on both sides. Really easy to just drag onto the frame. Nowadays, you guys know how important it is to not just get sleep, but quality sleep. So it's the only right. I don't know if you guys do the same thing, but you have to to do the ultimate Superman test. Look at Randy Orton slithering. Oh, watch, out, watch, out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, Woo! All right, so what I was telling you guys earlier, what's really cool about these mattresses is these are personalized to your liking. So from your height to your weight, all the way down to the way you sleep. So for your side sleepers or your stomach sleepers, it gets it down to a T. So I took a quick quiz, two minutes max, and based off of all the answers, they sent over the Sunset Deluxe right here. This is a queen size, and I'm telling you guys, this is crazy comfortable. Super soft, and like you guys saw, really easy to set up. Free shipping straight to your door, and psh, this guy's already lounging right here. So yeah, huge shout out to Helix for sponsoring today's video. Hit the link in the description box below, and you guys will get up to $200 off your mattress, plus free pillows, plus free shipping, all right? Make sure you guys hit that link in the description box below. Once again, huge shout out to Helix. Woo! Uh, outfit of the day, man. Outfit around the office. Obviously, you got the heavyweights dropping soon. Yes, probably, sir. Uh, during NBA Finals, maybe. Because you, okay. you see the jewels, man. Everyone, I see, I see that. Jewels. And as you can see, we got the Richie Lee collection. What size are you? Right. What weight are you? You boys are 5'8". 5'8". Stop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll let, I'll, let, I'll let him do his thing. I'll let him five do his thing. 5'8". 5'8". 160. Wearing a medium. All right. Wearing medium, medium, medium. Okay, so you okay. You guys can see a little bit above the knee. Yes, sir. Uh, Obviously, you got the, the the red joints right here, and then you got the uh, <laughs> come on, brought right up the classics today. Jeez, the tens, but part of the, the first tens. Right? What do these go for? Uh, 15 or light 15? I'm not sure, but I know my good friend Richie gave it to me for $600. All right, nice outfit, man. Nice summer outfit. All right, so I got uh, some air fear of gods right here. I have not worn these in a while, it's been a while. Brought these back out, so I brought these out. Fear of God denim right here. This is from their latest collection. I like that they didn't do any more zippers. No, no knee blowouts and everything. And then 
I was gonna we say got that the, uh, sure. Wash teeth dropping. This set, John, feel this. You feel the uh, vintage vibes. It's kind of stale, but not really. Yeah. It has that, that vintage uh, sip. Yeah. That finish. Uh, these drop Saturday, 9 a.m., richielee.com. And then I got a, uh, another fitted. The other one, man, you know, 15 minutes in, I would basically get a headache. Yo, what up, Lena? Lena just got in the building. Straight to the curly fries. So outfits around the office, what are you rocking right now? Looking very summery. It's hot Break it down, today. break it down. It's like 90 degrees. It is hot. I need to be nice and cool, even though there's AC. It's just a simple Nike. Oh, I thought that was a kit at first. We can break 10, it's kit. Something super simple. Got my reacts on. Got the reacts. Really cool. Fire. Off white fours. Here you go. I want these so badly. Like you have some fire one. you could trade. Yeah. Guys, if anybody has, what is your size you're looking a for? A three and a half. A three and a half in these. Lena is willing to trade her UNC off-white ones. Hook her up, hook her up. All right, so you know the drill. Outfits around the office, head I mean, to toe, toe to head. What are, you, what, what are we working with? The Mahomes, the Mahomes, Mahomes. okay. Mask tea. Oh, wow, carry. how much is that? It's like a thousand. It's like a thousand. What? Bro, this mask tea is a thousand dollars. All right, so what else we got? Thousand dollars for the mask tea. That sweat, is crazy. Sweat something light, just minimal. Minimal? Hey, I was minimal. working them, so they're not like fashion. It's more like, these are my durable. Okay. These are my all purpose my sweats. Okay, okay. okay. He, he, he gonna slide with that one. He gonna slide. <laughs> and then what else? Okay. SNS. He had the nerve to step in the building with some there. boost hand. Are we allowing that? I just caught the cream ultra boost, you know. Whoa! Kind of back on. I messed with the other. Hey, Nike boys, <laughs> Nike boys, <laughs> Nike boys. Are we allowing this? Let me know. Let me know. Three look, stripes look, still look, here. Look. If they, okay, obviously I'm gonna love them. All right, Lena, so we just wrapped up House of Hype. What do you think of the foams? I like them. I don't love them, but I like them for 70 bucks or maybe like $20 under retail. Just get yeah. a pair Cute. of freaking Crocs. What, did you know Crocs have pins? Well, we what got Mr. Okay? Uh, retail Worker over here. He worked well, at the kiosk. Working? He worked at the Croc kiosk? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm selling them. Didn't right, you? Man, I did. <laughs> this guy has literally worked everywhere. You know, I, I worked at the, the kiosk I mean, and I was busy. handing out the little gibbets. Gibbets, that's what, what they're called. They're called gibbets? The little, 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 little attachments that go Do they the come with the sneakers or you buy them separately? You buy them separately, like five bucks. These are water resistant? I don't know. Well, you like them, Ralph? How is it even resistant? Nah, I don't. <laughs> Not for me. All right. All right, guys, so right now I'm just uh, setting up for the uh, complex sneaker battles. I'm going to be battling free inhalations. So we got a uh, best yellow sneaker is what they asked for. Best sneaker with the flannel. Best clickbait sneaker heat best dunk i don't know when this drops but it pretty much all the same sneakers i showed in tony d's battle i don't know when that video drops either but yeah this is uh what we're doing right now and uh may the best man win What's going on guys? So it's been a little while since we've done a one-on-one -on -one questionnaire talk and in the past we did only like four or five questions in a session. I thought we'd switch it up. I told people on my IG, ask me anything. So we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. We're going to be doing a rapid fire round as many questions answered as possible for you guys. Let's get into the first one. We got a lot of questions. Right, so the first one we got Nang Long. Will you go back to Vietnam? Love from home. Shout out to Vietnam, man. Uh, that's where my parents are from. I was Last time I was out there was uh, four years ago. Crazy. A lot of fun. I've heard it's developed a ton. Um, shout out to Benjamin Tran. I saw that he opened up a spot recently. Um, hit up Benjamin Tran. Let him know. I'm trying to get out there. But yeah, man. Looks really fun. Definitely want to visit really soon. All right. So next we got from Wesley Duke. Are you planning on doing a tattoo video anytime soon? I've been getting this question a lot recently, especially because I posted some of my uh, tattoos on my IG. We actually got a session coming up, I think in a month. I'm flying out Brian Vargas to Seattle. We're going to be doing a session. So once he comes, we'll definitely do a crazy tattoo video for you guys. Let me know down in the comments below if that's what you guys want. I'll talk about the meanings, what to look out for when it comes to artists, who to look out for, how much to pay, all that. Let me know if you guys want that. What else we got? Since you're at home, can we get a house tour? I try to keep the house a little bit more private. I don't know. We're actually looking for a new house right now. So maybe I'll show you guys, you know, the whole shopping um, process. 
Shout out to Sky. He just jumped up. You know, I try to keep the house pretty private. Better safe than sorry. All right, what else we got? Lakers versus Clippers. Let's just say I have a bet with the homie Chris Leverage, all right? I have the Lakers going further than the Clippers this postseason. Whoever loses has to give up one sneaker from their collection, whatever the winner chooses. chooses. You know, he said he's a diehard Clippers fan. I told him he has to put the sneakers where his mouth is. Let me know who you guys have going further. I have Lakers and he has the Clips, but you know, obviously Clips are looking good too. All right, so next we have uh, from 2Js, not the Urban Necessities 2Js. What is the most rewarding part of sneaker collecting hunting? Whew, that's a great question. I would say, what is really rewarding to me is getting sneakers that I was not able to obtain when I was younger. You know, the older stuff. It's kind of like symbolic to me years later picking up sneakers that I used to just, you know, look at at the store. I remember at Flight Club trying on the Yeezy 350 Turtle Doves. And at that time, that was when I was starting off the YouTube and everything. I couldn't even afford those. I think they were selling for a thousand. I even just tried them on though. I was with Johnny. We were at Flight Club. So yeah, to be able to afford sneakers right now is very rewarding to me and uh, really dope. All right, so we have how many pairs of St. Laurent denim do you have from Cold Now? I have two pairs of St. Laurent Crash Denim, aka the Stinkies. <laughs> Those things, I know a lot of people have messaged me, said, hey, throw them in the uh, freezer. It just does not. I don't know. There's something about the odor in these denim. You cannot just get out. But the look is that fire. I still have to continue wearing them. But yeah, I've actually kind of considered selling them. Maybe just moving on. I know a lot of people have asked me about them. But yeah, if you guys are a size 30 or 31, hit me up if you are interested. They will not be cheap, though. They are very hard to find. I know I didn't really sell them that well because I just talked about how stinky they were, but anyways, are you keeping the Dior's from 999 Andrew Moon? For sure keeping the Dior's. I actually do not really sell any of my sneakers anymore. Just too many uh, sneaker regrets as far as selling. So I just decided, man, I'm gonna do the real sneaker collector route and keep all my sneakers. So yeah, the Dior's for sure are staying in the collection. What else we got? How old is Sky? He is actually pretty old. He is eight years old. What else we got? Next hype purchase. Whoo, next hype purchase, man. Maybe a house? I don't know, that's kinda hype. All right, so we got from Stir Stelios. We got what is your next dream car? So we got the RS in the garage right now. I would have to say my next dream car would have to be Maybe a Pista or maybe, maybe the Vendor Roadster. I don't know. I just rode in uh, Chris's, my friend Chris's the other day in LA. Wow, that thing is a beast. But yeah, I'm not really sure. All right, so next question we got from Hey, It's June. When's the next drop? We are actually going to be dropping the Richie Lee Collection Cargo Utility Shorts, whatever you want to call them, this Saturday, 9 a.m., on richielee.com they also will have the perfect wash tees all right these tees are basically like the perfect oversized fit you know not too cropped and whatnot i love them definitely really dope tees high quality made in la but yeah check out this saturday richie lee collection make sure you guys follow the ig right here for any more updates and teaser photos and whatnot any details they are really dope i actually wear a small in those shorts too by the way and a medium in the tees. When are the shorts dropping? Just answered that. Restock cargo pants and tees, please. When it comes to the cargo 2.0, I've not said this yet, but just stay tuned. Who knows? I don't know. Just stay tuned. All right, so I know I'm running through these pretty quickly. Let me know if you guys like this more rapid fire, you know, questionnaire round. I, I feel like I answered about 10 already. Let me know if you guys like it this style more. All right, so we got from SDLS, first step to starting a clothing brand. Oh, I would say, man, just don't focus on a logo. It is so hard to get just a logo popping right now. You know, try to think of something like a slogan, a design, um, some cut and sew. But if you guys just have a logo on a t-shirt, it is so hard to get people behind that right now. I know Crooks and Castles did it, Bobby Hundreds, Diamond Supply, Supreme. I know that's how streetwear used to be, but I would say nowadays, it's not really about just a logo 
first. It's more about a design. So I would say try to focus on that, maybe some all over prints. But you asked what is the first step? The first step is designing, getting some people involved, finding a manufacturer locally or overseas, make some phone calls, Google it. You never know what you can find online. But yeah, it took a lot of time to get this off the ground. All right, so we got from 3RK702, where'd you cop the black faded gray t-shirt? You are always rocking. That is from the Richie Lee collection I just mentioned, dropping this Saturday. Um, some samples that we were wearing. What's the best Jordan 1 or sneaker in general to buy for 1K? For 1K? Whew, that's a 1K you could get a lot, actually. I would say... I'm looking at the shoe wall right now. I would say if you could find a pair of 94 ones used for 1K, I would definitely pull the trigger on those. Uh, they're only going to go up in value. And I feel like the material, they're built like tanks. I used to think that the DMP Jordan ones were built really nicely, you know, really sturdy. But the 94 ones, though, material wise, do not sleep on those. They are really nice. When are the RLC sneakers dropping from John Sejas? Uh, yeah, those are coming. I think we're going to be dropping those in fall. We felt like they were more of a fall vibe with the whole sneaker Chelsea boot, but they're still coming out. RLC boots, those are crazy. Very nice, easy, casual sneakers to rock. All right, so last question. We answered a lot. We got from Ornesto, I think his name. How did you meet Tan and Johnny? <sighs> That's a good question. Actually, so Johnny, I remember I was at a friend's house and I was break dancing huh? in the garage. And he actually didn't like me because I, I guess I came across as showing off. You know, your boy was doing a little bit too many windmills or something. He was a little bigger back then. He couldn't do the windmills. I'm not really sure. He was more like a pop it, lock it, drop it type of guy. And uh, yeah, he didn't really like me. He told me this years ago. Um, but yeah, that's the first time we had met. And then Tan actually met him playing basketball with a few other friends. And then uh, yeah, I tore my ACL and then he replaced me on the basketball team and played on that basketball team in the league while I was doing, you know, recovering and whatnot. So yeah, that's how I actually met Tan. But yeah, definitely been my boys ever since. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that rapid fire round for your guys' questions. Um, shout out to everybody who submitted a question on IG. There was a ton of go through. Sorry, I couldn't get through everybody. But yeah, I just thought this was a more effective, faster way to answer everybody. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any more questions. Also, make sure you guys check out the utility cargo shorts dropping this Saturday. It is the same material as the cargo 2.0 that everybody liked. And it does have a mesh lining. So it is very comfortable, very, very, very limited. So keep that in mind. They are short, so we didn't want to make too many. But yeah, see you guys Saturday um, on RichieLee.com, 9 a.m. Pacific time. Grab a wash tee as well. Trust me, you will not regret it. It is crazy quality. Made in LA, USA. You'll definitely like what you get. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace. All right, guys, so uh, I just wrapped up a video with the man himself, uh, Jacob. We just talked about uh, streetwear reselling, so make sure you guys keep a lookout for this video. Um, but right here, he brought up these three pairs of pants, and he had a little, uh, is this a game? Like a little challenge. <laughs> All right, let's you do know, it. I want to see which one you think resells for the most. Which one out of these three pants do I think resells the most? Yes. <sighs> Okay, let me see. I think all right. So the paisley stuff I know, you know, is pretty hot right now This is kind of like the Japanese uh, tattoo style. It's kind of fire actually. I'm going reselling the most second and third It's literally the exact opposite. What? Wow yeah, these actually Really for the most right now and these and sellout times these sold out Actually the slowest out of these items right now. On what? Makes, what, what, what? What? This is like it's just a more wearable item. Yeah, I just thought that was kind of funny. <laughs> All right, uh, exact opposite. Jacob is putting me on game when it comes to Supreme. I had the total opposite. Make sure you guys <laughs> check out the video though. Do's and don'ts of streetwear reselling. Any last words? Yo, thank you for having me, man. That was a for lot of fun. For sure. Real. All right.